welcome to Michael's Business Buzzwords. This month we're talking about global leadership teams. Let's look at the first word, infighting. Infighting means hidden conflicts or disagreements within a company. I think all companies have some kind of infighting. And this is different than fighting from somebody else. This is inside the company. Second, horizontal leadership. This means leadership or decision-making power that is shared laterally across a company or organization. This is different than traditional leadership models, which is what we call vertical leadership, top-down style. Especially with global leadership teams, companies want to develop this horizontal leadership. Third, fine-tune. This means to make delicate adjustments to something to optimize the results. This comes from music. If you have a piano or guitar or violin, you need to tune it to make it perform at the best level. Fourth, C-suite. This is a very business-like term. C-suite means the top executives in a company. Why C? This is because of their titles. Top executive titles usually begin with C. For example, CEO, or CFO, Chief Financial Officer, or CIO, Chief Information Officer. So we call all these executives together the C-suite. Number five, air. I'm sure you know the word air, air all around us. But we can also use the same word, same spelling and pronunciation as a verb meaning to express publicly some opinion or complaint. So, for example, you might air some issue with the people around you. Number six, buy into. This means to completely accept or believe in a set of ideas. So, for example, you might say, I didn't totally buy into that plan, meaning I didn't totally agree or accept it. Number seven on the same page. This refers to people sharing the same understanding or the same agreement about some idea. This comes from books. If everybody is looking at the same page in a book, they are in agreement. And finally, number eight, pass the torch. This means to give responsibility for something to somebody else. This actually comes from ancient Greek sports. The relay race. Nowadays, we use a baton, a little stick that we pass. But the ancient Greeks actually used a lit torch that was alight on fire. And the runner had to pass the torch without the torch going out. That was an added challenge to the race. So we often use this expression now, meaning to pass responsibility to somebody else. For example, the president passed the torch to his successor. So, please use these terms to help you discuss global leadership teams. Thank you and good luck.